Hikimono are manufactured on a lathe, on which the raw piece of wood is fixed. All turned objects for example, trays, bowls, one, and tea caddies, natsume, are round. The surface of a turned object may be left uncoated, but often a transparent lacquer finishing is applied to protect it. When a turned object is to serve as a lacquerware base, it is usually coated with black or red lacquer. As is the case with Waikasa Nuri, lacquerware made in Fukui Prefecture's Waikasa, Aichizane lacquerware, Nara lacquerware, and Yamanaka Shiki, lacquerware made in Ishikawa Prefecture's Yamanaka. Japan has a gold mine of traditional craftwork that's bestowed by the natural resources, and Najiso wood turning of Nagano Prefecture is the one that shows the beauty of mystic nature and its power embedded in wood. Najiso Machi is the smallest town in the southwest part of Nagano Prefecture, with about 94% of its land covered by forest. The wood turning which has been fostered in Najiso town involves a processing of shaping thick wooden boards and logs by grinding them with a plane while turning them on a wheel at the same time. In 1980, it was certified as a traditional craftwork by the Minister of International Trade and Industry. The masters of the craft are known as Kijish take part in the entire process themselves, from selecting wood, drying, wood turning, coating to the sale of their products. The beautiful grain of broadleaf trees in Zelkova, Konka, Castor Aurelia and Katsura, and so on, is used as natural patterns. The material trees are around 100 years old. The trees hewed out from mountains are first cut into big pieces depending on the size of each product, then ground roughly and dried, sometimes for more than 10 years. By doing so, one can prevent distortion, which can occur during the production process or after use. The Najiso wood turning has been used in everyday life for the making of trays, bowls, and snacks or sweets containers. Recently, new products such as ballpoint pens and business card holders have been produced as well. While these items take the shape of tools that help people in contemporary society, they still show the power of life, as if their innate qualities were awakened by the techniques of Kijishi artisans. As Mr. Nohara, president of Najiso Lathe Woodcrafts Cooperative has been said, A feature of lathe craft in Najiso is to keep the beauty of the wood grain. It's important to judge wood just by watching raw wood. It requires a high level of skill.
Looking at the gently shaped round forms and the countless layers of grained lines, one senses the peculiar nature of a tree's lifespan, as its decades or centuries of history are laid bare to the naked eye.